So this is where it all began. I came to St. Mary's University in 2010 and really began my journey into the running world. Before coming to St. Mary's University, I was a pretty good runner, but it was here that I learned how to train, how good I could be, and this is where some of the best memories of lessons that I've learned throughout this whole career really took place. I started today's YouTube, I'm doing a session in the park with Jack Rowe. I started by saying, hey guys, I'm in London, I'm doing a session with Jack Rowe. But I don't know, I think this is gonna be interesting showing you where I went to university, what I learned there, and we can get to watch how that session went today with Jack. Okay, so we didn't always have this brand new running track. I came to St. Mary's in 2010 and this track just got relayed about a year ago. And what's crazy is that I've been doing hard training sessions around this track since about 2006 because I came to St. Mary's for what was called a London Marathon training camp. Um, and it's mad that I probably did better sessions in 2006 than I potentially just did today. But I'm not telling you that to brag. I'm telling you that because I want to give you context for how long I've been doing this. And so if you watch my training and you see the splits and it's intimidating and it makes you feel something about your splits, it shouldn't. I've been doing this a very long time. Literally, that's 17 years ago. I was 16 years of age and I was smashing out laps around this track, sub five minute miles, probably 440. As a 16 year old, long, long time ago. But that gives you context to tell you how long it takes to really develop good fitness. Okay, and so what you're looking at now might just seem like grass fields and pitches, and I'm so sorry, there's so much going on. It's London, we've got airplanes, we've got people cutting the grass, we've got cars, we've got people playing hockey, and I, I love it, that's just London. But this is important. And so what you might see now is just some grass fields and honestly that's what it is, it's grass fields. But in 2005 I left Belfast, Northern Ireland, I was aggressive, anger management probably issues, stress issues, trust issues, every issue that you could probably think of it. Life was difficult for me and I, I found situations difficult. So I came here in 2005, I'm kind of pretty good at running. And I get involved with this, you know, London Marathon training camp. And as the week goes on, I'm finding it tough. These guys are good. When you first leave home and you're kind of like exposed to like, call it like the big leagues, it was tough. And so I came to these fields. It was a Thursday morning and we were probably doing something like two kilometer a tempo, five times three minutes, for example. And after one of the three minutes, I start doubting myself. And so I pull off to the side and, and I'm done. I, I, I quit, right? And the coach, coach called Mick Woods, he comes over and he says, oh yeah, I thought you might be a bit of a quitter. And it ate me alive. I mean, <laughs> I mean it ate me alive. And I jump back in the session. And not only did I jump back in the session, I literally, when everybody else went home and everybody went and did their warm down, I did that exact session again. So not only did I, sure I had a moment of, call it like weakness and I doubted myself and I, you know, call it quit, I gave up, I stepped to the side, I was done. That comment was made to me and it might seem rude and it might seem unfair, but I'll get to that. That comment was made to me and I made a decision that said, that's it, we never quit again. I got back involved and then I did the exact same session all over again. I mean, I, I don't know if I should stop for airplanes or not because it's Heathrow, they're every two minutes uh, or every 10 seconds, sorry. But that comment really stuck with me and, and you might think it was unfair and you might think it was cheeky of the coach, but I'm gonna tell you something. Running is really hard, really, really, really hard. And actually that comment might seem unfair, but it was a great test 
to find out when I was a boy, 15, 16 years of age, it basically showed me that I probably have what it takes to be good at running. It doesn't mean that I'll never quit. It doesn't mean if you're listening that you have to be this type of person that never ever quits, never ever doubts yourself. That's not the moral of this story. That's not why I brought you here. I brought you to these playing fields where at 15 years of age, I was asked the question, are you just going to quit? And if you're just going to quit and knock it back on the horse and knock it back up and not try again and not double down, running's going to be a very difficult journey for you. If you doubt yourself, if you quit in the morning or you quit during a session, try your very best to get back out that afternoon, back out that evening, back out that next day, get back on the horse as quickly as you can and remind yourself who the you are. I'm not gonna swear, I'm being a good boy on YouTube, but sometimes you have to remind yourself you're not a quitter. You might doubt yourself, you might give up in a session, but get back on the horse as quickly as you can and go again. All right, everybody, so this is Jack Rowe. Jack just qualified for European Indoors. So you can actually watch him in like 10 days time. European Indoor Champs are in Istanbul, Turkey, but he's gonna tell you what today's session is. Morning, uh, so today we're doing six bar mile. Uh, nice short recovery, just off a minute. So the pace won't be anything stupid, probably around five minutes, five flat. Uh, Maybe a little slower on the first two, just to kind of settle into it. Um, he means slower for me, <laughs> so that I can settle into it. Not so he can, Jack's very fit. But yeah, make sure, follow Jack on Instagram. What's your Instagram, Jack? Uh, at Jack Rowe, and then I think it's like a full stop, and then another dash, because Jack Rowe's gone. Poor man. <laughs> Comment below, wish him good luck, and you can check him out in Istanbul. We're gonna to get today's session done. I'll film lots of Jack, hopefully some of myself if I'm able. And yeah, let's get the session started.
All right, that's job done. The heart rate fare went up there. It was about 180 by the end. My lactate was 6.0, which is fine. That's like aerobic par. Or maybe it's supposed to be four to five, but I'm okay with that. Jack, the big animal, and he's still bleeding. Look at him, big softy. Poor enough. I couldn't get blood to come out of my finger. My, my hands were too cold, but Jack's lactate was 2.0. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. The big tank. I knew he was fit. Well, Jack, how was that? Yeah, it was class. It was good. Nice Found a and nice easy. Rhythm. Yeah, the first one, because it's cold, the first one kind of feels like it's flat out sometimes, even tempo. So it was almost the second one got easier than the third and the fourth. But it was nice. Found a good rhythm. And we're actually quite uh, protected behind the, uh, behind the wall from the wind. So it was actually probably the perfect spot to do the session in the park. So yeah, they're really good. I love that, not that I want to interrupt Jack, but just listen to what he just said. This man just ran 744? 46. 746 for 3K, which is, let me work that out. What's that per mile? Like 410 pace, 408? Uh, and he said the first rep today felt flat out at five minute pace. So if you're ever at home and you've started your reps and you're questioning why you don't feel great at the start, come on, if Jack doesn't feel good at the start, you can let yourself have permission to not feel amazing in the first few reps and you can warm up into a session. So brilliant advice from Jack. Don't worry if you don't feel great, you can warm up into it. And yeah, what a great day to do a session and hopefully you enjoyed that and got to see us ripping in the absolutely gorgeous Bushy Park. So this is the absolutely magnificent Bushy Park and you know this is where we do most of our training, reps, threshold, all that kind of stuff. There's, there's grass, there's road, there's path, there's deer, there's birds, there's some days it's actually quite sunny. Um, but I don't think it's hard to imagine how I sort of became to love running. When you get to run somewhere like this and, and enjoy this sort of like beauty it's easy to fall in love with running you know think about sitting on your couch and try to compare it to somewhere like this it's yeah it's pretty awesome but um look i really hope you enjoyed today's video hope you enjoyed the session i hope you learn to sort of be patient with running give running time it, it it takes a long time to be very good at this and so don't be so hard on yourself when it's not clicking right away the good news is it is possible to get better the good news is if you stick to what you're doing you be patient and do some of the basics do them really well the recovery stuff the hi there <laughs> this is quite fun <laughs> i'm just doing today's youtube <laughs> yeah thank you how are you oh nice what's your name chris yeah oh, nice to meet you chris so two of you on a selfie, sure. Thanks, mate. <laughs> nah, you're good. Oh, this is brilliant. Were you up. training or doing a run or? Uh, make sure that's the. So I'm actually. Okay, doing... we'll do it properly. I'm actually doing the. Uh... All right, I'm back. So, like I said, this takes time, but that's the coolest thing about this: that you still can get better. You might not hit your absolute peak or your absolute best potential right away that takes time each year there's a natural ceiling on how much you can improve but what's cool is that if you do all those little things the recovery stuff the nutrition stuff if it's some strength and condition if you work on your psychology if you do all these little things you increase the chances of reaching your best potential that year massively and that's what's so important. Give your body the best chance of bringing the best out of itself in training and then in races. Hope you enjoyed that today. Like, subscribe, do all that nice stuff. Do check out Jack Rowe. Look for him in the European Championship. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna go watch. Katie's competing as well. And so go give Jack some love. Like, subscribe, do all those fancy things and take care. If you liked today's video, don't forget you can check out my running masterclass at joggingroom.com. 60 lectures, over 12 hours of tips, strength conditioning, nutrition, recovery, foam rolling routines, strength conditioning routines, sleep tips, psychology tips, race preparation tips, 
everything you could imagine from how to carb load, how to work with your glucose to get better at running, and all the tips that have helped me get to the level I've got to. I didn't get to run 209 without a lot of knowledge, and I wanted to pass that knowledge on to other runners who wanted to get better. I wanted to help other runners that perhaps sat at home and wanted to be faster, wanted to be better at running, wanted to handle anxiety better in competition. I tried to get all that knowledge out of my head and into this masterclass. So if you want to go check it out, check it out. If you sign up, I hope you really enjoy it. I hope your running reaches really good new levels and take care. Happy running. Be kind to yourself. Stop beating yourself up so much. Running in life is really hard, but well done.